Hey, what's up guys? Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of Beam and G. Now, in my last video, I was like, you know what? The grid map never gets much love. Like, it doesn't get updated that much. Last time it was updated was a while ago. What did they do? What did they do? They just updated it. Look at this. Look over here. What's this? It's the ground. Sorry, I didn't mean to go in the ground there. Look, they added this. Rock thing. Huh? That's nice. They added that. Um, I think they put this in. Yeah, they did. There's like a jump right there. It's great. Did the jump kind of grow? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it goes into trees, but... They cut me a path there. Oh shit, what's going on over here? Hello? Oh, that's what happened. Great. Cool. So it's not like a huge update, but it's... I mean... Pretty cool. I like it. Now you might be thinking, well, Spears, are you gonna take that, that new, uh, truck off-roading on the update up there? This isn't... This isn't just the new truck. <laughs> it's a limo. Uh... Alright. Anyways, hit that like button. You guys wanna go for a ride in this? Let's go for a ride. Let's get 20 million likes and go for a ride in this thing. Could you imagine? Hey, how many subscribers do you have? A million? How many likes does that video get? 20 million? Is that... That's not legit, is it? No, it's not legit. Okay. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's hit this here. I got to, I, I got a, th a frog in my throat or something. I hate when people say that, but... I think I have a frog in my throat. It feels weird. I wanna try and make it down this thing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but hey, I've seen videos of like big ass long trucks doing rock crawls and shit. Look at that. No problem. Perfectly fine. See? I like that. It's, it's really subtle, you know? And now the uh, the struggle is making it back up there with uh, <laughs> with with that wheel in the back, the gimp wheel. And now, I think the transmission is just like really long, or the drive shaft's really long, so whenever I put it in gear, it feels really like sluggish when I go forward. It takes like an hour to actually go forward and when I want to stop it takes me like an hour. It's probably just because everything's like ten times longer. That's what she said. Is it actually gonna make it up there? I don't know, man. I don't think so. But maybe. Perhaps. Eh, we're doing a burnout on the rocks. Alright, hold on. Let me uh let me put it in low range. No 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 no. I'm sorry for uh no videos the other day, by the way, guys. Um I had to take my dog to the vet. I, I woke up to like 34 calls from my mom. Because my dog was, like, not breathing or having trouble breathing. She was, like, sucking in air. Like, reverse breathing, basically. Oh, great. That's where I wanted to go. So, my mom freaked out and she called me. And then I, uh, we took her to the vet or whatever. Or I took her to the vet. And waited there for, like, four and a half hours. And then they saw us and he's like, yeah, it could have been allergies. Could have been an anxiety attack. She could have, uh, collapsing trachea, which is, like, normal for Shih Tzus. I don't know. Post comment, you guys ever have any problems with your dogs? And if you don't have a dog, what's up, man? Hey, you should you should try and get one. They're cool, you know. I mean, if you don't like big dogs, get a little dog. It's great. They they're they're com they're companions. They're best friends. You know, it's good. Hey, that snorkel actually worked. Look at that. Holy shit. My dog's name's Maya. She's cute. All right. There's pictures of her on my Instagram, my Twitter. If you want to check it. Out. So enough about the dog. She's cute as fuck. Anyways, let's uh let's continue on here. This snorkel is actually working. I didn't think it worked. I thought it was just like a fucking. Just like, hey, look, I, hey, look, I got a snorkel, you know? So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try something real quick. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It's probably not gonna work, but go forward, please. Thank you. See what I mean? It takes like an hour to go forward. And I'm trying to stop here, and it won't let me stop. Um, oh, yeah, great. Now it's rolling back. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh, look at that. A tow hitch. Maybe the oddest tug of war ever. We're doing fucking tug of war with some, some Jeep limos. Like, <laughs> let's go. Oh, shit. <clears throat> My voice just cracked, I think. You didn't hear that, did you? Okay, so, that's not fair. How's that even... I guess... <laughs> that one's the off-road version, is that why? Alright, this is like some grandmother tug-of-war here. Stop, alright? Just chill out. Oh fuck, that's not gonna go good. No, 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 no! Don't break it! There we go, good. These things are so fucking slow, man. Holy shit. Alright, stop. Why are you doing this? I just want you guys to line up properly. You're not doing it, are you? you yep, we're just going around in circles, alright. Until, until somebody breaks a wheel, it's all fun and games. What's wrong with my voice? Oh Jesus, I need a bag of new board. Come on, come on, it's both- Okay, they're both from a dead stop, right? So, the blue one, is just- Just better at its job, you know? Nothing I can do about it. This is pretty badass looking though. Like, this is two rich people that got too much time and money on their hands. And they're like, hey, let's go ahead and make a couple limo jeeps and get them to fucking play tug of war together, you know? There's also a weird- hold on, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. There's like a weird name for one of these jeeps. It's called like, um... The, the Splittable Limo or something? And I don't know what the fuck that means, but I want to check it out. Yo, Splittable Custom Limo. I don't- what? Okay. Uh-huh. So, how- how do I split it? 
It, sh okay. Uh, <coughs> should I <laughs> should I read the thing? I don't know if it even said anything like, hey, this is how you split it. If you want to split the limo, this is how you do it. It didn't tell me anything like that. It was just like, hey, um, a stripped down s splittable limo, a custom customized off-road beast. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Uh, whoa! Holy shit! Look at that one! I didn't even see that! Yes, this is a classic World War II limo jeep. I feel like I've seen one of these in a movie somewhere. This would be so fu Oh, I think I saw it at, like, the Jurassic Park, um, fucking event thing at, uh, like, Universal Studios? When I was a kid, they had something like this. It wasn't this long, though. That's what she said. I don't think. That's what she said. I don't know. That's what she said. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Don't burn me! Okay. I mean, don't break my engine. I need that. Let me go inside here. Oh, great. I shut off the engine. Trying to hit C, and I hit V. Wow. This looks really not doable from down here, actually. Especially in this thing. This poor little- Oh, for fuck's sake. I think I just broke something. Yep, I broke a few things, actually. Wow, this is weird. The camera's just freaking out. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? This one actually stops and goes in reverse, like, really quickly compared to the other ones. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe. I put a tow hitch on this, because I feel like this one will pull that blue one, because the blue one won this tug-of-war match. And it's not really a tug-of-war match between those two, it's kind of like... a slug-of-war match. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm hilarious. Okay, this one's got a smaller engine in it, too. Weird. Does this tow hitch, yeah? Great, okay. We will take this over here, like that. Perfect. Yeah, I like how that thing flops down in the front. So dumb. Alright, let me, uh, let me disconnect it from this bad boy. I'm just gonna drive the blue one over there. Um, now, keep in mind the blue one has better suspension, a bigger engine, and better tires. Tears, bare tires. Sorry, <laughs> better tires. Um, so let's let's back up the green one here, the old green Bessie, and get him to hook up real quick. Come on, buddy. I love this chain, man. Like it's, it kind of make make it kind of make Beam and G into something. Kind of made Beam and G into like. Like, m Lego. Like, when I was a kid, playing with Lego and, like, little dinky trucks and stuff, I'd, like, put them together with string and try and, like, get them to tow each other apart and all that. I mean, and there's, like, remote control ones that you could do that with, too. It's just great, man. I like the little trivia, trivial shit. BMG should, like, implement more of that, you know? Um, okay. W what was I saying? I don't fucking know. Let me, uh, which one am I doing here? So, do that one? Okay, yeah. So let me freeze it real quick. Go down like that, and then I'm gonna put flee, and then go to this one, and then... Oh shit, it doesn't know what to... It does not know where to flee. Oh yeah, it does. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, wow, really? What is it? What... What is with this blue one that makes it so much more powerful? Like, I don't... I'm not getting it here. Because it's the exact same as the green one. Like, I'm not even trying. I'm, I'm not pushing the gas right now. I'm just gonna let it pull me. And now I'm pushing the gas. And watch, just slowing down. It's crazy. Maybe the blue one has different gears. Different gearing. Look how long that drive shaft is. Jesus. It's like off of a bus. That's kind of crazy. Alright, I'm just gonna pull this thing along here. Maybe I try and pull this one up the hill. Huh? Think we can do it? I don't think. I think my game's gonna break. It's gonna bring up that thing like, Hey, there's some inst instability in the, in the game. That's not good, you know, and then be like, hey, hit J to continue, and then break my game. Do you guys ever get, like, harassed by fucking telemarketers? Like, your your home phone? My mom's been getting that for the past few days, and it's fucking p it's pissing me off so much, because the dude's like, we I will keep calling you, I will keep calling, and, like, freaking out, and he's like, you're going to jail, and my mom's like, I'll call the cops, it's just fucking hilarious, and, and she's like, do you think he knows where I live? And I'm like, mom. It's a fucking telemarketer scammer. I, he does not know where you live. You're okay. I'm stuck in the fucking water right now. This is great. Sorry, I just... I just thought about that for a second. I don't know why I did. Can I get out of the water? Why am I stuck? Do I... Okay. Well, maybe we... Um, do something with the differentials real quick? Well, that's not doing it. Maybe that one? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I'll go this way then, out of the water. If I didn't have that snorkel on this truck, it would have already flooded like ten times. Look at the bag. It's already full of water. It's great. Okay, let me change my range. Yeah, I wish I knew how to off-road. This will make my life a lot easier. Yeah. What if I just disconnect? Okay. Oh, it's because he's trying to pull me. And there he goes, right into the fucking trees. Good job. Good job, dude. Holy shit. That was quick. Okay. I'm, I can't control this. Oh, no. The classic. 
Nigel Thornberry. It looks like Nigel Thornberry would drive this thing. That's what it looks like. I wonder if I can bend it in half like a fucking accordion. Let's see. I'm curious. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was really easy. Is that what they mean by splittable? Oh, this is the splittable one. Let's try this one. Uh, go like this. Wow, that's fucking rugged. Holy shit. I don't think I can rip this one in half like that one. Hmm. You know what? You can do anything you put your mind to. Let's be real. Holy shit. <laughs> that only looks a little bit ridiculous. Like, like, like the tiniest amount ridiculous. So, um... This was the other mod I wanted to show you guys. It's, there's a plow on the front of this fucking ETK. Uh! That's ridiculous, man. Holy shit. I want to ram something into this thing. Oh, great. Yeah, that's... Uh-huh. That's safe. Holy shit! It's like a cinematic camera? Why have I not noticed this? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> you imagine seeing that coming down the fucking highway at your ass? I'd be like, hmm... Uh... Oh, you want some, motherfucker? Come get some, dog. Oh! Where, where your ass is at? <laughs> it fucking ramped off! What the hell? Are you still coming? You still coming, dog? I... I... Why am I talking like this? I don't know. This is act this thing actually works like a ramp, like unlike the one on the fucking the 18 wheeler. You know why that one doesn't work? Cause it's too high off the ground. This one's perfect. Look how low that is. Mint. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna fucking end you. Wait. Oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. What did it blow off? I think it blew off its bumper. Is that a bumper? Mm -hmm. Some, some, something that used to look like something, but it doesn't look like it anymore. And and this thing still wants to run too. I don't know why it's spitting out. Oh, impact detection. What? How advanced are these cars now, man? What the hell's going on here? Let's see what kind of engine I can put in this thing, rather than the one it has right now, because I'm not a huge fan of a, a V12. Okay, you know I think a V12 actually brought this thing to life a little bit. Look at that. That's only ridiculous. A little bit. Ninety percent of the time. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Man, this is... <laughs> I didn't think this mod was gonna be that good, but I, I like this just as much as I like the chain mod, and that's saying something. Actually kinda curious if lowering the tire pressure in the front... Like, let me see what happens when I turn it up. Let's see if it raises it a little bit. Oh, I think that did. Okay, keep it right there. And front tire pressure. Let's see if it goes down. Did it go down? Maybe a tiny bit. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to save this thing so we can use it later. Um, and I don't have to like, cause you have to it, like manually attach this thing to the front. Um, front left camber. Oh no, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. I'm just gonna put that back to where it was. Oh shit, where was it? Minus 20. Hmm. Rear track width, front track width. What's a uh, track width? What? What, you, what is that? What is that doing? I don't even know. Come here, buddy. Come here. And right down the middle. Is that gonna work? Oh! I mean, sort of. I guess. It's kinda just destroyed everything. What the fuck? The impact detection. Car stopped. That doesn't... Alright. What happens if I just ram it right into a wall? Let's see what happens there. I'm gonna drive it all the way over to like that ramp thing the outside and then ram into the wall right there. Perfect. We're going to be doing 140 probably. Uh, yeah. 140. Holy shit. That's crazy. And... <laughs> the ram has become one with the car. It's an ETK Ram 1500. D yeah. Impact detection. No shit. No shit. Impact detection. A little bit of an impact happened. Um, only enough to melt metal. Okay. I like how the flame sounds kind of come out of nowhere and they're like extremely fucking loud. Like this thing just burst into flames. I was like, whoa! Like, holy shit. Flame on. Right? What's that from? Post a comment. Let me know. I don't really know. I forget. Um, I think we should drive something bigger into this. Hmm. Uh, come here, bitch boy. I'm gonna flip you like a fucking pancake. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah, that's a little... That's a little painful. It's gonna land right on top of me, isn't it? Wow, legit right on top of me. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. 
There we go. Oh shit! Alright, so that might be too heavy. Okay, it's humping me now. It's having its way with me, I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna go this way. It's still gonna chase me. I wanna get some more speed before I actually do that again, because... It wasn't going very fast, and... I feel like I need that, like, 140 mile an hour speed... <laughs> to flip this thing over me, rather than let him fuck away. It's not gonna be 140 miles an hour, it's probably gonna be like... Oh, it's not even telling me how fast I'm going. Great. Get away! <sighs> what is that, even? It's like... A metal blade comes up. Oh, it's all the metal that was behind it. Freaks out and then pokes out the top. I get it. Ha! <laughs> you like that? I hit your fuel tank, bitch. Yeah. Who's who's invisible now? Oh, fuck. Ooh, he's like, I'm gonna set you on fire, too. You gonna set shit on fire, little, little biosh. Little tiny biosh. Um, I wish I could put, like, a, a tow hitch on the front of this ramp. <laughs> Maybe. It kind of looks like a tow hitch up there, actually. Look at it. Isn't that kind of, well, you could, yeah, kind of, I mean. The thing's like the Terminator, just never gives up. Listen, Arnold, calm down, all right? It's okay. Uh, I'm yawning. I'm sorry if I made you yawn. Oh, yep, there we go. And you just flipped yourself again. Smart. Smart. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, feel free to let me know by hitting that like button. Um, Take a second, helps me out a bunch. And if you want to post a comment, that'd be great too. I like, I like reading comments and replying to them. They're fun. You never see my replies anymore, though. There's too many comments, so like I'll reply like 100 comments, and they just get buried in new comments. So, uh, yes, let me know. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that video or not, all right? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Tired, I think. Am I tired? No, I'm not tired. Uh, maybe. <laughs>